Oh, look, a baby. People tend to like them. In America, larger humans oftentimes celebrate their smaller humans by cooking large quantities of meat. You know what that means. It's big beef time. Oftentimes, we associate low and slow with the R&B stylings of a young Alicia Keys. However, here we are actually talking about cooking meat at a low temperature for a long time. Either way, I don't want nothing if I ain't got you. Here I have a 12 pound brisket consisting of the flat, the thin portion on the bottom, and the point, the thick rump over the top. I am patting the brisket dry on both sides here prior to applying seasoning. I didn't show it here, but I cut out the hardest bits of fat as they will not render. If the fat is soft, then you can leave it or trim it to your liking. I use a two-part seasoning, one fine rub and one coarse rub to layer. Whatever rub you choose, ensure that it has plenty of salt and sugar. This will create your bark and infuse the flavor to the meat. I start by applying my fine rub everywhere on one side. Be sure to coat all of the nooks and crannies. In fact, brisket became famous because of all of its nooks and crannies. And while I'm not sure if that's true because I made it up, it seems like it could be, so make sure to apply your rub everywhere. I then layer it by adding my coarse rub, in this case, the Mango Magic. Let it rest for 10 minutes to sweat through, and then do the same on the other side. Don't be afraid to use your hands. As an aside, if you didn't know or have never had it, the point on the brisket will have the juiciest and softest meat that you can ever ask for when we are done. Ultimately, it should look something like this. We are now ready to smoke. Start smoking the brisket at 180 degrees for 2 hours. It should look like this when starting to smoke with the moisture seeping to the edge of the brisket. After 2 hours, increase the temperature to 225 degrees for an additional 8 hours. At that time, check the temperature of the brisket through the point. If it is between 150 degrees and 165 degrees, then it is ready to wrap to finish the cook. I tightly wrap the brisket in aluminum foil and continue to cook. After another two and a half hours, I checked the temperature and had about 197 degrees through the flat and 190 degrees through the point. The brisket is done when the final temperature is between 190 degrees and 204 degrees throughout, so we are done here. If the brisket is taking too long to get up to temperature, then feel free to increase the cooking temperature to about 250 degrees to finish. Now let the brisket rest uncovered for at least an hour before cutting into it. If you do not, then you will lose a lot of the juices in the meat. I like to combine the barbecue sauce with hot sauce when eating the meat. I feel that a little heat helps even out the sweetness and saltiness from the barbecue sauce and brisket. I prefer ketchup based barbecue sauce but it is not illegal to use vinegar-based sauce if you so desire. The scorpion pepper sauce that I use is really quite spicy, so I only used about one part hot sauce to five parts barbecue sauce, and I mix them together. Congratulations, you are now a smoker. You can now start to cut. You may be surprised by how easy it is to chop through the meat, almost like butter. I promise that even if this is your first time making this, it will turn out just perfect. We can see a smoke ring here, which is a sign of a successful cook. As you can see, even the thick part of fat cooked through completely. While I don't usually like to squeeze the meat, I did here to demonstrate just how juicy it can be. I like to make sandwiches on sweet Hawaiian rolls. I chopped up an egregious amount of beef to put on top of the sandwiches. Then I dolloped on a bunch of the sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. Lastly, I tapped it off with some coleslaw, just to look good. And I'll just end with this. I am willing to bet that this is the best, most tender beef you will ever have. 
honestly, you may end up eating this whole thing all by yourself. But please don't. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Subscribe.